Hi everyone, welcome back to the my workshop. Okay, today I have the Dewalt D25123 minus GB. It's a rotary hammer drill, recorded. Okay, so I will try to turn it on, just check if it works or not. Okay. Okay, so now I'm thinking where to start. Okay, I will start from the carbon brushes. It's a three screws here. I need to unscrew them, so. Okay, I will take the proper bit for that. One, two, three. Okay. As you can see, the carbon brushes is really good. The armature looks good, okay. I will release the carbon brushes. Okay, you can check them again, they are good. Second carbon brush is good. Okay, so now I will unscrew the four screws here. They are holding the hammer casing with the motor housing. See that armature was touching some some field marks. Okay, yeah, it's, it was touching here, but it's nothing bad now. The field is still good. The armature is good. It looks good. Okay, checking the ball bearing. It's really good. Okay, I will unscrew the armature. It's some grease and dust here. Okay. Okay, it's a two screws holding the armature, so play it. Okay. Okay, so it's out now. Of course, checking the ball bearing, it's wobbling or not. Okay, now it's not. Checking the gear. Now the gear is good. Okay, so going to the most important part, it's a hammer, okay, it's a tool holder, to remove the cap, you need a screwdriver, just taking it out, okay, it's a one the rubber, okay, so now this one will not go easily, so it's a spring ring here, you need to remove it, normally I'm doing that with a screwdriver, Okay, of course, checking the plate and the it's a ball here. Just removing it by pressing the spring down, check if the ball is, ball is round or not. Now it's round, okay. It's a plate and a spring okay just cleaning the plate a little bit checking for the groove because sometimes it's big groove made on the, on it okay now, now it's good it's normal if you will order a new one you will get with the same groove here okay so now the switch here's the cover you need to remove it with a screwdriver, okay. Now it's a spring here, removing the spring, okay. Now it's a screw here, 
we need to unscrew it. And then we can take out the switch. Okay. Now when this is done, we can put it like this and press the tool holder and take the okay, sorry. Take the housing. Okay, it stucks a little bit, so I will use the screwdriver. Okay. okay. Okay, now I think it will go. Okay, not always going easy. Okay, now I think it will go. I will do that with a plier. Okay. So, holding the cylinder. Okay, what can we see now? It's a O-ring is damaged, so someone was deassembling the stool and then assembling it. Okay, so here we have the tool holder. Okay, of course, checking the gears. Okay, they look good. It's a striker inside. We need to take it out. You can do that with the pliers. Okay. What can we see on the striker? It's a groove, I think, for the grease. Okay, the striker looks good. The o-ring looks good, but of course, if we disassemble it, we will change it. Okay, so let's check it more. What's, what can be wrong with it? Okay. So, we have the holding ring here, the flat washer spring, it's working like a clutch. Okay, if you want to take the parts from the tool, you need to remove all these gears. Okay, I will try to do that in a simple way, by pliers, with the pliers, I think. I will need to press it. It's really hard to do that. Of course, because of the spring tension. Okay. So we need to press it down or up to release the ring. Okay, how we can do that in a almost one basis shop? can do that on a hydraulic press okay I will try to do that I think and I will try to release the, the ring I will pause the video because I need to go to other place okay so I'm back and what I did is I pressed the gear down and then release the ring Okay, how we can do that? I don't know if we have something similar but bigger one. You can do that with it. Okay, or if you have a strong friend. <laughs> okay, so it's a it's a clutch here. Okay, now it looks good. Okay, spring the flat washer. It's a really really hard spring here. Okay, what can we see here? Okay, so
so here we can see the spring ring inside with the hole okay so and it's not in the other side so okay I will try to remove the screwdriver okay it's going out now I need to spin it to the hole okay now lifting it okay so I will try to push it out Okay, it's almost out. Now I need to take out the spring ring. Okay, the spring ring is out. Okay, what can we see now? You can see the dirt here on the hammer. Okay, it still moves here. Okay, 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 okay. So, it's a, it have some worn sign here, but it's really not, not a lot of worn. So, it's normal. Okay. Honestly, for this one, I think we will change the O-rings, and everything will be fine. Okay, I'm not sure about this hammer, but I think it's it looks how it looks. Okay, it's I think it's good. So okay, uh, now for the for one of the viewers customers with the um, bobbling the chisel. Okay, I will make the measurements of the inside of of the cylinder. It's a Okay, it's a 9.9 .9 millimeters, and when I spin it around, it's 10 millimeters, not more. Okay, and it's empty, and when I install the drill bit, it's, as you can see, it's almost not moving. It has a slight gap here. Okay, but it's almost not moving. So, my friend, you need to test in this way your tool holder. I think your will be moving for about a millimeter. That's too much. Okay, and of course you cannot disassemble all the tool. You can only take the rubber cap and then test it. Or you can take the rubber cap, the spring ring, the plate with the ball and the spring and then, then test it um, and yeah and as you can see the re real the, the gap is really small here here we're on the hole so so okay you need to measure that and compare with this one okay so this one is 10 millimeters wide okay so for now thank you for watching guys okay waiting for your comments for your thumbs ups okay of course subscribe if you're not subscribed and see you in my next videos bye